I am standing in the fruit tree nursery. Look at all these different beautiful fruit trees. This is Dave Wells Nursery in Lindale, Texas, home of Miranda Lambert. And I was here last year and uh, they have such a great selection. The cool thing is you can come out here and you can pick your own. Like, Hey, we got our fruit trees home. Let's talk about what to look for when purchasing your fruit trees looking for a healthy tree to begin with so that it's healthy throughout its life and gives it the best chance to grow properly. Okay, let's look at several things. So when you're looking for a fruit tree, you wanna make sure that you find a tree that's fairly straight and growing straight up and down. If you find a tree that's a little bit crooked, it could lead to problems later in terms of needing to prop it up and it's just not gonna grow properly. So look for the straightest trunks possible also, look for the thickest trunks you could possibly get. Now, we recommend that you purchase trees that are at least two years old. Any longer than that, actually, in a pot, is not going to be good for the tree. The, it's going to be way too root bound. You want it a certain, uh, you want the roots to be healthy and to fill the pot. However, you don't want it to really be too crowded in there where the roots are unhealthy. So, a good rule of thumb is a half an inch to three quarters of an inch on your trunk. Certain varieties are going to be a little bit thicker, but just make that judgment call. About four to five feet tall and about that trunk size. Now, what you can do also is pick up the tree like this. If you pick up the tree like this and it doesn't immediately come out of the soil or the pot, you know you've got a good tree because the roots are well established in the pot and you know it's been there for a while. Also, in this one over here, I don't know if you can see, but we've got some uh, weeds actually growing in the pot itself. And that's really a good sign, too, to know that that tree's been in the pot for a while. We want to look for any damage on the trees. We also want to look for any broken branches. Now, I think I have a broken branch on here, but that was done by me in transit, so if you see it, yeah, here it is, over here, hanging. Don't know if you can see it, but I'll just prune that out, no big deal. Also, look for a tree that's also a good shape. Now, uh, we have a pruning video. Specifically, we prune that plum tree. We're going to want to prune, you know, apple trees are different uh, versus uh, stone fruits. And you can go check out that video. But look for a tree that's got a good shape. It's it's symmetrical around, obviously straight up, but it's putting out branches on all sides. Sometimes you're not going to be able to find that, but do the best you can in looking for that. So for here in this zone in Texas, we need a low chill hour fruit tree. So we have this Dorset Golden apple. We already have one in our orchard and it's doing really well. This uh, apple tree is actually cold hardy all the way down into the Caribbean, believe it or not. Uh, I've heard of uh, them growing uh, fairly well uh, down there. I can't remember the chill out hours on it. I believe it's maybe 250 to 350, somewhere in that range. We also have a, a Crips Pink Lady. We've got a Li Jujube, which is a Chinese date that are very, very resistant to disease and drought. And they do incredibly well, so I recommend. They're a little bit more expensive, but get one of those. You're going to be very, very happy. We, a new addition to the uh, fruit orchard this year is a uh, Fuyu persimmon. Persimmons do incredibly well here in this part of Texas. They actually even grow wild, which uh, a friend of mine has one on his property, a wild persimmon tree. And all over here, we've got a new addition also. This is a Moon Park apricot tree. Now, apricots, uh, they're a little spotty in, in Texas, but this is one of the best. We looked at the Texas a and um, uh, website, and this is one of the ones recommended to do well in this part of Texas. One thing you also want to take a look at is the graft. Now, all these trees are grafted, and you want to look for a strong graft. You want to look for a healed graft, and one that isn't too far below uh, the soil because that can actually lead to, and actually this one is right here. I'm going to move this soil back. That can actually lead to um, disease entering through that graft 
if the tree is younger. So th this one should be fine. It's, uh, it's several years old now and it doesn't seem to have a, uh, an issue with it. So that's all you need to look for when buying your fruit trees. If you stick by those rules, you've got, you give yourself the best chance of having a healthy tree uh, and also go check out our tree planting video. That also gives you a great uh, opportunity to grow an amazingly healthy tree. It's a, it's a time-tested method um, from the uh, late 1800s that produces amazing, amazing growth and uh, fruit on uh, trees. So thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. We are always happy to have you here and someone's going to come say hi to you. Hi. <laughs> what do we tell them? Uh, I don't know. Oh, see you on the next video. See you on the next video. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. And give you a thumbs up. Yep. The thumbs up.